Hey guys, it's Brendan Foreman, and we are back for another 270 match. We are taking a look at the two candidates here. We have John Kasich, who is being played by, I believe, uh, Colton Conroy, and Bernie Sanders by Javier Rodriguez. So give me just a second to get my bearings going here, make sure the stream is up and going. And it looks like it is. So we are in for a treat. I'm gonna go ahead and hit in my turn. I am the Crooked Hillary. Let's get Marcus Amendola. Amendola, that's how you say it, not Amendola. Amendola, how's it going, my man? Oh, what's up? Oh, just in time. This is fun. Yes, sir. We have a two for one matchup. We've got John Kasich, Colton Conroy. It looks like double tapping Florida. And it looks like that Bernie Sanders is going to do what he did against uh, Jason Casey and go after that old South. So looks like he's going to try a different combination here going Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Maryland. So he'll get that uncontested. Kasich going two taps in the Florida. Uh, Marcus, um, have you played either of these guys recently? I played Javier probably a couple weeks ago, and I played Colton a while back. Um, both saw – obviously, Javier is on a tear right now. Oh, yeah. Um, back to back against Jason is amazing. Um, yes, sir. Javier's on fire. Um, Javier, obviously, is making some deep runs. And this is an important match for him because if he's able to, um, you know, win this matchup, that's a whole other round he's going to go into the ATP and the round table. He's making some serious um, claims for that number one power ranking. And I will be honest with you, I'm very surprised that Javier did not um, block one of those swing states. I see that a lot lately. Or I see that, that combination a lot with the um, Ohio, Wisconsin, and New Mexico. That's something I would have sniffed out um, in a heartbeat. But don't doubt the – the, the man right now, Javier, is the man. He's got $358,000 in cash. He does not have any bonuses or penalties. Neither does Kasich because this is going toward the roundtable tournament, which is hosted by Daniel Smith. Um, and so it really is going to show, you know, some interesting characteristics of these players um, who don't have those big bonuses to rely on. So, you know, you think about the old South versus the swing state bonus. Yes, the old South bonus is less of a bonus, but you know he's going to have that longer. Also, you know it's only a two to one ratio. Where in some games you might see the swing state bonus for one hundred and twenty thousand, you know, versus fifty thousand dollars swing state. So there it is. There's the one hundred thousand dollar bonus for Kasich and the fifty thousand dollar bonus for Bernie. Do you like that double tap into California if you are Bernie Sanders? I mean, the New York double pip was nice because just in case he comes with a single, um, and he's already kind of ahead in the AA battle, and he's gonna looks like he's gonna forgo the um, town and gown and focus on the AA. Yeah, I would expect him to maybe move up in DC and maybe like a Vermont and like a Utah. So I mean, or, or Utah, not even doesn't even need um, Vermont. So just DC, Vermont. You say Vermont, DC, Utah, and Arizona. Um, Arizona does not have pressure yet, but I expect that's coming. If you are Kasich, you know, with that swing state bonus he just got, he might also prioritize getting into North Carolina or Virginia with that AA money. But he has $500,000. He's going to have to make a move quickly. And if you are Kasich, do you go for Texas? Ooh, and just let, well, so this is a fun thing with no bonuses. It's kind of a different game. It is. Um, you can spread out just a little bit more and be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to worry about somebody getting a huge bonus and then starting to railroad you as they pick it up for a while. So, I mean, that's a, that's a fun move. I mean, I guess you could use your swing money to pressure and then just do a pip in Texas to show, hey, I'm going and force him to start to look to California. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Bernie will have his eyes set to California sooner rather than later. And if you do plant your flag in Texas, I mean, North Carolina makes some sense because if you can get uh, that Wisconsin, North Carolina, Florida trio, mm -hmm. that can be the agriculture bonus. Although I think um, knowing Javier, he has that sniffed out pretty well. So 
yeah, it'll be interesting. I do think that it's worth fighting in Arizona for that town and gown in Latino AA battle. And I guess knowing Colton, he's, he's more of a saver, if I remember correctly. And I think what he's probably going to do is throw some pressure, save up, and see what Javier does. Problem is, Javier just not making mistakes these days. And when you got a saver in that position, what you're hoping for is an overspend somewhere. And I just see Javier being meticulous in the situation. He's ahead and just starting to put the, the pedal on the, on, uh, on the floor. Yeah, for sure. And we're doing three-minute timers. Um, they both wanted to get this game going and, and enjoy the rest of their night. Um, I know Javier's got to be feeling great on cloud nine after defeating Jason in a close, hard-fought battle. But here's the turn. There's that contest in Arizona. Looks like he might be making a play at the oil and gas. No pressure in Louisiana, though. There's the pressure in North Carolina. New York going up to Bernie. Expect him to get that AA bonus. And Ooh, there's, double the, from Texas. All and right. there's the Texas double tap. So, yep, and Utah for that town and gown for the next turn. So, AA well, money. He's got that pressure. I guess he's got AA money to defend Arizona now as opposed to the, the town and gown. Okay. Yeah, he's got AA plus swing – or, sorry, AA plus um, versus swing. And Where else is Kasich at? Can you pull up his map real quick? For sure. So he's not having a lot of pressure down there, so he can throw his money over into Arizona to defend if he needs yeah. to. Yeah, so the question becomes if you're Javier, do you, do you prioritize going up in Texas? Not, not going up in Texas. Do you prioritize um, – knowing that Kasich's going to go up in Texas, do you prioritize defending North Carolina – preventing the agriculture bonus, or do you make sure that you hold on to Arizona and then just go up in D.C. and in Utah and get that um, county gown bonus? What do you think about, like, a low spin here from Kasich to see what Javier will do and uh, thinking about moving Cali quick? Well, I like that if he is able to double tap California, he's going to play a super, super long game. Um, pressure from Florida would then come with the AA, bon the AA bonus, but then he could use that swing money. If he foregoes North Carolina and Arizona this turn, he could, he could um, possibly um, possibly go that route. But that's uh, – you're, you're talking like turn eight before that bears any fruit. Um, sure. I, I don't know. I, I think you have to get your manufacturing and maybe go for um, – you know, go for ag in North Carolina. Let's see what he does here. He flips Arizona, so just by two pips. So, you know, he's going to use his swing money, I'm sure, next turn to uh, lock in Arizona. Otherwise, and the pip was for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't to have to, but it, it, that's what the logical thing is. So, no. Uh, low spin by Bernie. Low spin by Bernie, but Kasich does set himself up for that oil and gas bonus. So. Oh, he takes away the AA. Where do you take away the AA from? I'll have to look at that because I did not see that. Was that North Carolina still? No, it was Arizona. Oh, the Arizona. Oh, Arizona was a AA so, plus a, a T and G. Oh, wow. Very, very, very questionable move by Javier, actually. Uh, maybe, bad. maybe just kind of took for granted that um, Arizona would be his, and maybe, maybe a miscalculation. So I'm going to make a comment. Timothy Yates is in the comment section. I'm going to say that uh, Kasich. I don't think Javier used up all his AA money there. Equals um, Kasich equals Colton. Because he spent 175. I'm trying to think of where he went exactly. He might have spread out a little bit more on AA. Maybe that's what he did. Maybe he spent his AA money spreading out into a couple other states. But, yeah. That hurts a lot, actually. The Arizona play was – It definitely evened it out quite a bit. Um, I was – I that game was starting off, I mean, tremendously in favor of Javier, if you ask me. I think that definitely brought it to a closer match. Um, trying to pin this comment here. Well, Cusick's going to um, have oil and gas after this one, I think. He's going to defend Arizona, and then he can just sit back for a second and see what – well, he either has to get into California or put pressure down in There's the There's Florida South. pressure. This is a classic game so far. Yeah. So Bernie, getting, Bernie going to get the uh, high-tech bonus, right? Uh, yeah, he should. Yeah, 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 because he's got Michigan already. 
and he's got Delaware. That's a big play there. That'll help him out with Cali. Gets AA back with Michigan and the high tech. And town and gown. And town and gown. And then oil and gas comes in. And did, did Kasich get into Illinois? He did not. He did not. So Kasich, if Kasich would have gotten in Illinois, he could have gotten the ag bonus without North Carolina. Now, he so could. So Latin. He Go could, ahead. He could. Now there could be some. Uh, some spending some serious money in uh, with the oil bus, he could double tap Texas. So I'm sorry, double tap California, excuse me. Uh, we've got Daniel Smith, the commissioner of the round table tournament joining the zoom. How's it going, Daniel? Good. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Um, we've got Marcus Amendola. And of course you guys know me, Brendan Borman. We are, this is the uh, round table and the ATP tournament. This is pretty far along. We're like in the, quarterfinals of both let's see is it going quarterfinals and quarterfinals and then semifinals we're down to eight people in the round table and eight, we're down yeah. to about that 18 or 16 or so in the atp tournament so yeah but i think this was a third rounder for the atp tournament it wasn't a uh, a fourth rounder yet okay was still you got me and, and uh khalil and uh javier and colton were the last people to play still okay cool and and i'm just making sure have you guys seen the uh the stream, is it up and good still? Oh, yeah, I everything's going good on my end. Cool deal. Um, I'm just making sure because I've got it minimized here, trying to get all my bearings in order. Um, but we have a pretty classic game here. We've got a New York African-American Old South versus a Texas, Florida. Um, that lock of Arizona is going to bear fruit later on in the game. Um, I do expect Kasich, here we go, to pressure some of these old South Delta states. For Cali. By no, no. Uh, Bernie. Ooh, still no Kasich in the Illinois. I bet you he made a turn. I bet you, I bet you he made a big push for North Carolina here. And he flips Michigan. That which means will he's take away AA. the high. Oh, pit oh the fifth wow. pit. that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Yeah, one more in North Carolina and one less in Michigan. And that would be a huge turn for Kasich. It's still a pretty successful turn. It did take away the high tech bonus for at least a turn. So oh, you're a double pip into Cali. He did double it. pip Cali. He'll get it back, yeah. but that sets him back. He has to use cash to get it. Where as, you know, if he uses his high tech money, he can expand in Nevada and New Jersey and go for that Latino bonus. So it does set him back a little bit on the quest for Latino. But um, yeah, that clash in North Carolina prevented um, Kasich from getting that ag bonus. So we take a look here. Now he's pressuring all of the old South. So not only did, uh, um, I don't want to click from Texas there, not only did he flip Louisiana, which will help him maybe for export later on, makes that um, oil and gas bonus a little bit more secure, but he was able to pressure all those old South states. Daniel, do you think that Old South pressure is real, or do you think that um, we're looking at maybe a different kind of game where it's maybe a fight for export ag and Latino? Yeah, I think at this point in the game, it's just uh, – it's it's fake pressure. But, I mean, once you get down to a ballot, anything goes. Um, Javier is going to save that money, uh, compound the money over and over, and then when we get down to probably turn 13, 14, 15, any of those states can be up for grabs. Um I think Colton knows it's probably fake pressure. I mean, if you look at the African-American, it looks like uh, Colton's got a pre – well, I mean, he can pip up. In, is uh, Javier pressuring Illinois? He's not. Okay. I clicked on that too. So, yeah. what, do you do with, what do you do with Michigan? You spent to the um, sixth pip. I mean, do you feel like you have to lock that out? Um, I think Colton may, but if I if, – if He I does have Colton manufacturing spot, money. I would pip. I would just pip one more in Michigan, um, thinking Javier may go for one play over. Um, Colton probably locks it here, um, just because he's a little nervous because of that uh, move that he that he made earlier. But I would definitely get into Illinois. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we got a low spin, which brings Florida back into play. But Colton does mm -hmm. pressure Illinois. A lock of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Lock of Michigan. So, yeah, yes. Lock we, Michigan. And that's his manufacturing money. Uh, but that Latino bonus is still 
up for grabs, but did anybody spin in New Jersey? No, oh, no, you'll see. Oh, he's got, he killed on the Illinois, duh. Okay, sorry, with, El, with Illinois and Nevada, along with um, Cali and New York, that does give Bernie the Latino bonus, which $75,000, I'm learning this the hard way in this round table. Latino, in my opinion, is kind of one of those secondhand bonuses in mm -hmm. a normal game, but in a this in a zero bonus, zero penalty format, Latino is more more important in my opinion. Do you, what do you think about that, Marcus? Even in, in normal games, Latino can really make a difference on those ballot rounds because Nevada and uh, New Jersey are always like one of the last ones to go into. So right. Latino can make a huge difference, especially in a game where AA is tight and you, Illinois is still up for grabs a little bit, especially because um, Kasich hasn't joined into it. But I definitely in this situation, it's more and bigger, as you would say, and it comes to fruition. I think just a little bit bigger. So I would agree with you there. So a lot of bonuses that Bernie has don't go to Florida, but he does at AA, which is 100. And he has Latino, which is 75. Well, the he's other two, fun thing that Latino can do is uh, in the swing states out in New Mexico and Colorado. It allows mm -hmm. you to add a little more pressure out there where normally you wouldn't be able to do that with oil, gas, and, and swing states going on. So, But, yes, Latino gets you to play in the other states like Florida when he starts to put pressure with the AA. But, yeah, it, Latino, I think of all the what we call secondary bonuses, would still be considered the – biggest deal out of all of them i mean some people might like ag a little bit more but i've always been partial to latino over ag as one of those secondary best bonuses yeah i think in this game ag could have made a that if, if north carolina flips then you see that ag bonus really start to make a difference you know when one person is texas one person is california same thing could happen with latino however just the way that the the game played out that wasn't going to happen um but yeah, I, I, I think Latino is probably my favorite bonus of that group. Export toward the end of the game, if you've got a person like Nixon, um, there's some there's a low spin by uh, – no, a big spin. Sorry, I thought that was a, a two. It's a seven. So defending here by Bernie. Let's see if uh, he locks at <laughs> Illinois. Okay, North Carolina goes to Kasich, which will be the agriculture bonus. Hmm. Got some pressure in Pennsylvania. I bet that goes to Bernie eventually in a lock of Virginia. So electorally, we're sitting at 235, 247 now to versus 210. So it's it's a pretty close game. And now the bonuses are starting to even out. There's export and agriculture. Um, look for a Pennsylvania flip, something that could maybe take away uh, that export bonus. What do you think of that Virginia lock? What does that give Javier? Like, why, at this point in time in the game, why would you lock Virginia? Well, some people just love Virginia. I'm one of them. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's so easy to love. It's got four good bonuses. It's 13 you don't... EVs. For, I mean, I get it. I, I see what you're saying. Like, what are the chances that he, that he steals Virginia there? But well, you know what? if he does steal it, though, like, all the bonuses are locked in in other ways. It, usually yeah. earlier in the game, yes, Virginia's huge. But you get to this point, I feel like that was kind of a waste. Well, I'll tell you why it wasn't. If, if Javier makes a play for the old – or not Javier, if uh, Colton makes a play at the old south, he's likely going to do it, you know, in, in some of these places. And the fact that um, Colton had the swing state bonus, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. he, maybe he thinks the pressure in Colorado and New Mexico are, you know, not real. If he – by locking Virginia – if uh, Colton goes like the sixth pip, you know, and goes up in Georgia, or he's not in Georgia, goes up in, uh, you know, Alabama, Mississippi, you know, maybe even Maryland, he to get that old South and possibly take away the AA, he's he's going to have to, you know, get a lot of those states. So just by securing one of the most cost-effective ones, it mm -hmm. limits the damage, and he can really use that money to um, go elsewhere. So you know, go like into a Pennsylvania. So we got a low spin here on turn number 10 by Bernie. Colorado is locked. North Carolina defense, seventh pip. New Jersey, Bernie gets the second pip. New Mexico is locked. Ohio is going to be pressure from Bernie. 
really going to be targeting that export mm -hmm. bonus. Ooh, we're getting close to 100 EVs too. Kasich lock, uh, defending Pennsylvania, but not locking. And we are, yeah, like you said, getting close, but we are not there. But if you notice, if you notice though, and, and you know, you see this from veteran players, and I've gotten to know Colton over the last couple of weeks playing him. But Javier's just setting him up, low spending, getting into the states that he needs to. And you see that Colton, probably 80% of that was him defending stuff that probably, you know, he just poured money into defense. Uh, and, and Javier's just going to keep – look at that money. You know, he's over a million. Uh, I expect another low spend here just to set him up. May, do you think he's going to try to go into Texas and Florida? I know Florida's very vulnerable. Could there be a Florida flip? What do you think Javier's going to do to attack here? Well, let me look at Pennsylvania again. That's pretty pretty far gone. Yeah, so let's look at the bonuses. So AA and Latino go toward Florida. Um, I could see him, you know, Ohio is kind of a weird one to flip at this point in the game because to me, Ohio is one of the least likely to be defended. And if he can flip export, even for a couple turns, the export's pretty close. He can go up in Washington with his high-tech money. Sure, um, Kasich might spin there, but he can get um, – I don't know. He'd, get, he'd have to flip a couple things. What do you think about an AA Old South flip here by Kasich? I think that would be the riskiest. I think it would be the most, most – um, And he's behind, right? And if, yeah. if Javier low spends again, all that cash goes away when he does it. Yeah, I think I think uh, you make a good point there. Because if I'm behind right now, I'm looking for ways to get back. It's like, okay, I can steal Illinois, but that's really risky. It's weird. Oh, there goes Javier. He this might be it. a ballot push. Big spend by Javi. Double, yeah, he's double pipping. Yeah, this he's, he's ballot push. And, and with that spend. 125 spin from Kasich, he probably didn't hit it. He probably didn't. Um, Lock. Flash anywhere, so this is yeah. this is gonna be it. He can be out of all those states. Oh. Yep, he's he's. <laughs> it's not looking good. That's like that depressing moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah, because even when this is over, I mean, K six gonna have around a million, but what's he gonna do with it? Right. He's not in any place that would. He locked yep. Illinois. Florida's still vulnerable, so yeah, um, he's going to have a lot of cash, but where is he going to dump it? No no 100 EVs locked in. Actually, yeah. Um, oh, my Iowa, call. Kansas. Man. My screen, yeah, my screen's tough. I can't tell if they're there or not. It looks – So, I Illinois – sorry, let's go left to right here. Arizona, Colorado's 20. 25 plus 8 is 33 plus Illinois is 53 plus Michigan, 63, 69 – plus um, Alabama is 78, plus 13 is 89. 89. I, bet Javier was, I bet Javier was banking on him to close out New, uh, North Carolina or Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's 89 yeah. EVs locked in. Yeah. He, so at this point, Kasich has to low spin and get into all the other states, wouldn't you agree? Because there's really nothing he can – no bonuses that he could flip back to himself, I don't think. You're don't right, but this is the turn where if Javier wants to make a play at Florida, I think I think this is it. If he doesn't do it, I think he can win, obviously, without Either it. Way. But yeah. I think that I think that he if he makes a play for Florida here, he gets it over 80% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. So is it uh, like a two pip over or is it like like all the way up, like six, seven, eight? Uh, I don't – he low spent, so it's a moot point. But I, I think that I, I would have gone three three past. What did yeah. he defend, two? He just uh, defended like one. Did. Yeah, one I, I would have I would, I gone three past. I did Kasich like – Sports notification. Sorry, guys, on my phone. PGA did Kasich go into good. every state? He's, trying. He's going into every state, but I don't think he locked in uh, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. And there's a – I thought it was a clash. So, there's three more. What was the EV before? 89. 89. Okay, 92. so that's 92. So but if you're Javier, 
I don't think you want a ballot. I think you're happy with where you're at. If you're not stealing, you're just piling up cash, I guess. Yeah. At this point, it's like a cat, you know, playing with a mouse at this point. I mean. But the cash it, is pretty pretty close. This is impressive. I didn't think the cash would be as close. I thought Kasich would have had to spend more to get into all the states and lock a few things. Honestly, I mean, Bernie can honestly low spend again. <laughs> nothing is in, <laughs> nothing is inconsequential. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have to. I mean, don't get me wrong. If he wants to lock, if he wants to go for Washington, you know, maybe use his high tech money and secure, you know, um, export um, or, try, or try to, you know, uh, steal export. That's fine. Um, but he, you know, Kasich is, has 1.4 million, but he's not in California or New York. He Mm -hmm. has to, he has to defend Florida, you know, not Bernie. Yeah. I mean, at this, at this point, hopefully, hopefully Colton or, you know, Kasich will at least pip into California or New York, one of the two or both something to give him, because like you said, Javier only has to defend the, the minor states there in the middle. He's got a huge cash flow. Yeah, and Kasich's not – can you pull up Kasich's massive again? He's not in enough Old South slash AA states to take that one. So that, no, that he's in Indiana gone. and Kentucky, which which are 19 EVs combined. Um, that's pretty big for that manufacturing bonus. Um, you know, if you are uh, – I've seen this, and I've actually done this a lot. I, You know, if, if you wanted to lock those in with Bernie, not go to the 10th PIP, but go, like, to the 8th PIP on both of those, that's a pretty – you know, bold move, but um, I've seen veteran players do that before. Maryland is locked, so that, that puts us over a, over a hundred. So we will have a battle next battle ballot round, not not a battle, but it'll be a battle. <laughs> Pennsylvania's locked. I would have left that that carrot dangling there. Yep. Oh, in Texas. Kasich hurt me. Might have heard me about Washington. Bernie still spent two hundred thousand dollars less than Kasich did. Yeah. Now a yeah, lot of this. He did. Spend, go, go ahead. Negative two fifty for Bernie on this one. I think it's more than that. I think it's like five hundred. There's still a chance with all there that is. cash. There's there just is. so much cash. If the, if this was like around a million and six hundred or million eight hundred, maybe I'd go with you on that. But one one wrong spend here, or if like you just if you're really good at math, right, and you target just the right ones, and Bernie just overspends in too many spates, like that's that's the why the, the the risk is there. Yeah, I don't know. I he's he's got to defend some of these states too. I mean, did did Kasich? I didn't see him get into California or New York. Though, Kasich, so. no, no. Yeah, so he got he got into uh, and Bernie got into Texas. <laughs> How many EVs yeah. does he have to take away? So it's he need, would need thirty nine. Forty uh, forty one to get to two seventy. But he's got to do a lot of defending himself too. Look at Kansas, one the one you know he's got that but on the first pit six EVs. Yeah, he's he's soft in a lot of states. I mean Bernie's soft too, but he's also got one point seven four million. As a reminder, if you guys are listening to this, uh, this is the uh, combined match between Colton Conroy and Javier Rodriguez for the ATP tournament in the month of January, as well as the roundtable tournament. Welcoming in the king of the north himself, Tyler DeMora to the stream. What's going on, Tyler? Hey. Hey. What's up, guys? Man's getting uh, warmed up for his late night show. I like it. Yeah, I thought I'd pop in and see what's going on in this thread. Well, you're in for a, a, an amazing ballot round. Murray's Great. got 1.74 million and uh, 309 EVs to K6, 1.26 million, 229 EVs. Love it. So, mm. Brendan, looking into the round table, you've got a big match with Supin coming up for. Um, a spot in the final four. Uh, you're going to be facing either Colton or Javier. Uh, let's take a look at this turn really quick. Here we go. Bernie spent all of it. Defense in Connecticut, that bio pip, that was huge. Flip in DC. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Defense. All these th- three little ones. 
<laughs> Georgia defense. Big Hawaii defense. flips. That's four by a pip. Mm-hmm. Idaho flips by a pip. Oh. <laughs> Then he take Texas. Indiana though. flips Bernie by two Texas. pips. Oh, this is fun. Iowa <laughs> flips. Oh, Bernie so had fun. to take Texas. He took Texas. Kansas goes I to Bernie. That's a flip. A clash in Texas or Florida would be great. Kentucky flips. <laughs> Big. <laughs> Maine flips. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> the Seven away. Mississippi. Missouri. Oh, that's big. Defense. Montana flips by two pips. 272 to 266. Nebraska flips. We have a new leader in the clubhouse, folks. Oh, Texas is going to be big. Where are we at? Oh, bigger in Texas. (laughs) Rhode Island flips. Oh. Heartbreaker. South Dakota clash. That's okay. No Texas. He holds. He holds. Utah. Holds. He didn't go into Texas. Vermont. No, no Texas. Oh, my god! Oh, here we go. This is for the win. For the win, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh. Flips. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Wyoming. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. 65. <laughs> what a match. Hello, I mean, Wisconsin. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that negative 250 now, Brennan. <laughs> so much closer than I anticipated. Wow, that was a good match. That was worth walking into. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Congratulations to Javier and Colton for uh, making it this far. Wow. We might have to have them on the stream here and talk about that. That was a pretty uh, pretty intense ballot round. But that was really- a, good, a good grind by Colton. Like, that was just yeah. a good grind to get back in that because he was down for most of it, except for that Arizona steal help. But for most of the game, Javier was pretty good control. <laughs> For sure. And he, he was playing on the margins there on the ballot. I think Javier did a great job on the ballot of maximizing his uh, his reach. But Colton just, you know, kind of gave up in a few states and just went a couple extra pips in some states. But, yeah, he had to spend his uh, – uh, what bonus went into Wisconsin? I guess, was that pure cash? Well, they're swing. And he had uh, manufacturing, or, or no, well, flipped, no, not Colton, flipped. not Colton, Javier. No, he didn't have. Sports. He had pure cash going to Wisconsin. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Didn't have bag. Didn't have manufacturing. Didn't have swing. Yeah, that's pure cash. That's ballsy. That's pretty. Awesome. And another thing that was ballsy from Colton is he did not defend Texas or Florida. Yep. I wouldn't have defended was- Texas, honestly. I mean, if he if he spends. I mean, it's kind of like that Jason Casey game we just watched. I mean, what what are the chances he goes past by one pip? I think he has to spend two, and at that point, yeah. you know, a lot of his pure cash is gone. It's just mm-hmm. defending money. So, but yeah. welcoming the the uh, the current got to be on top of the two seventy world. The winner of this match, Javier Rodriguez. Can you hear me, bud? Hey man, what's going on? There, I can see you too. What's up? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Um, are, is your blood pressure through the roof yet? Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I, I, my hands are shaky, knees weak. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. spaghetti. Yeah, there we go. Everybody's yeah. Home. yeah, I felt like I just had sex. <laughs> I just so had good. sex. I feel like I had sex You're not doing it right, man. You're not doing it right. <laughs> I had a bag on my head. Oh, Still man. counts. <laughs> so oh, Javier, man. tell me about the. Uh, the I was good. I was flipping out that he was itching me, in, inching me out in every single state, like just like one pip, two pip. I was like, I was, I was having a fit. Yeah. What <laughs> What was the point where you felt confident that you won? Was it just until you got Wisconsin? <laughs> when I didn't even know if I was gonna get Wisconsin. I'm like, I did he did, did he defend it? Like did he defend it perfectly? I don't know. Yeah, that uh, was pure cash, right? That yeah, had? that was pure cash. Yeah. 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 That's and pretty- I, uh, shout out to Con- uh, Colton, though. Oh, my goodness. Diamond Hands in Florida the whole time. Yeah, for sure. Diamond Hands and, and, uh, and also Texas on the ballot round, which these guys, we were all talking about it. I mean, did you consider Texas? And if so, by how much? Uh, I could have gone only two pips above in Texas. I didn't really feel comfortable with the amount of money he had. I thought he was going to defend mm-hmm. that. But uh, I thought he, it was a good chance he could have, so. 
I just went the safe route. Yeah. And I mean, that's you, I think you had the uh, advantage going in. We were, we were maybe debating on it by how much um, mm -hmm. I was saying by like, what I say, minus. Um, I think you said 500. 500. Uh, yeah. I said, uh, so five, I mean, cash. I don't know. It was, I'm it glad was, I won for the house. I'm glad I won for your, your wallet. There you go. Well, we are welcoming <laughs> in. I, I don't want to call him the loser because he definitely no. played a great game, but uh, the, uh, the runner up in this fantastic match of both the round table and the ATP uh, tournament, Colton Conroy. How's it going, Colton? Can you hear me? Are you on mute? Tragic. We'll catch up with Colton here in just a second. <laughs> but I got to well, ask you. Javier, it's Daniel here. I just want to congratulate you. And I also want to ask you, uh, with Brandon here on the stream, uh, Brandon's got a big match with Supin uh, later on this weekend, and you're going to be facing the winner of that match in the final yeah. four of the round table. Who are you, uh, who are you pulling for in that match? Uh, I, don't really pull, uh, I don't really pull for people, especially when they're two, good, two of my closest friends from the lounge, so it's kind of tough. Uh, put me in an awkward spot there. But <laughs> – it's definitely going to be a good game. I don't want to face a either of them. And if I, if there was one I'd rather face, I would be rooting for that person. But I, I'm kind of I'm not looking forward to having to play against either of them. Well, I do think that uh, I have definitely learned a lot from watching these streams. And I tell you what, Sapun is one of the most dangerous, uh, uh, like equal playing field, no bonus I, I've uh, I've been kind of amazed by watching him play, and obviously I don't think anyone wants to play Javier after he just beat Jason Casey and just beat Colton and riding high. Yep. But uh, no, by I'm, the skin of my teeth. By the skin of his teeth. And uh, <laughs> hey, Javier, while we're waiting for Colton here, uh, I'm here by the way. Oh, you're here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, good, hey, what's going on, Colton? Good, great fucking game, man. Yeah, good oh, game. Oh, great for you. <laughs> I hope you continue. <laughs> This um, on Team Brendan on the Trevor ba Trevor Albert basketball tournament. This this uh. This me I'm sorry, I gave you money. I won you money earlier tonight. All right, could you just give? Yeah, me this? fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you can give a little, take a little. I didn't even. You won more money than me than I did during the, for that tournament. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of glad we played just one instead of two because I don't know if I'd be able to pull that off again. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that close. yeah, man. Well, take I'm a look at that close. Taking a look at the map, Colton, um, is there, I mean, take me back to that ballot round. Um, you obviously spent all your, all your money, all your cash. Yeah. And you did make quite a few flips. I mean, I don't think you can complain with uh, your efforts there. You flipped no. like Hawaii no. by one. Um, you had quite a few. I think Indiana and Kentucky might have been one or two. Um, any one of those, and it, you know, it's, it's a 10 plus EV you know, where you're maybe not kicking yourself. But three EVs, <laughs> that's pretty tough. Is there one regret that you had on the ballot? Uh, no, no, yeah. Um, you know, I just played, I think, the best I could there. You know, he had the cash advantage. And, uh, you know, manufacturing and swing money, unfortunately, I had to spend other places. And, you know, he had such an advantage, such a cash advantage, such an EV advantage, um, that, you know, I'm just glad it kept as close as it did there. I mean, that made for an interesting ballot round where, you know, I thought, you know, honestly – I was going to be sunk midway through that. I thought I was going to be turning off my phone instead of getting that uh, bad news that would come Wisconsin. So yeah, um, I I think that uh, the the turning point of the game, in my opinion, was that clash in North Carolina. Um, yeah, that hurt. That that was pretty. I mean, if you get that by a pip, that it gives you ag. It um, you know makes it harder for Javier he's got to decide what to do if he wants to you know defend. I felt like that was the first battleground state I won Colin was able to flip Arizona and Michigan and I was like I yeah. was just like, afraid of like losing yeah, I thought they had a real good turn there <laughs> that was that was a great turn and I think that I mean no offense to uh Colton uh, I mean, it was a great turn I think that was maybe Javier counting his eggs before he hatched you know with with Arizona because so much hinged that turn on Arizona I mean I know you didn't need both counting down and AA but by not having Arizona, you, you didn't get either. <laughs> yeah. On that turn, I did spend all my AA money too, though. Yes. I okay. Because I, I knew I, mean, I could lose it if he did go in Arizona. Because I knew even if I moved up and I was just in Alabama, I wouldn't have won it. But I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. But you didn't want to like, go six pips and then him go I didn't want to go six pips. Yeah, I figured if he was going to steal, he was going to steal all the way. And I guess I was just wrong. I, was, I guess wrong there. Yeah, and that's okay. I mean, and those are calculated risks. I mean – 
when you're talking about two really good players, Colton and Javier, I mean, that's the game within the game that, you know, newer players, they'll get to that point. But, you know, there's not a perfect way to teach someone how to play. You just kind of have to live and learn with the, you know, with, with how, how it plays out. Hey, Marcus, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I wanted to give you a chance to ask Colton or Javier some questions. Oh man, that was good stuff. Uh, I did have a fun one. I was I was talking to the guys about Javier. Why'd you uh, why'd you lock out um, Virginia so late? Like, what was the thought behind that? Uh, the thought was he was still in enough states that could have flipped AA, like barely, if he'd want to do a hail mary, like move there. And this the just the EV count, like the EV count for cost. I liked having it the same the same way. Why same reason why I closed out Alabama? Just one of those. I knew it was going to be one of those ballot games. So every yep. EV is like you fight for. Yeah, that's that's what but, I was thinking too. And plus, like I had enough old South and A money to like, build up turn after turn that you know I was able to make that make that move. Yeah, I, I think this it's a lot of fun right now talking to people about like a love state. First of all, it's a big conversation that a lot of people have. Like they just fall in love with the state and they have to have it. Um, but another thing a lot of people are playing around with right now, I feel like, is show me where you're going to spend the money and people will lock out some of those EV states, but it also shows where you spent your money. And now, like, uh, I think you said it, um, Brendan, uh, Colton locked out Pennsylvania a little earlier before the ballot. And you're like, I kind of wanted to leave that as a carrot to maybe entice Javier to overspend for Pennsylvania on the ballot kind of thing. Yeah. And so uh, Brendan's different. got the drop on me about Pennsylvania. So that's why I, was, <laughs> there was like, I had like two or three streams in a row where I stole pencil, had a big still Pennsylvania. So Brendan was like, he was noting that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I'm very observant um, in 270 in all other walks of life. If my wife got a haircut, like she'd have to cut off like all her hair, I wouldn't notice. But <laughs> if it's 270, I try to keep my eye on that stuff. Um, so we heard from Daniel. Um, I appreciate Daniel jumping on. Um, we've got Tyler Demora. Tyler, do you want to ask either of these uh, gentlemen a question? Tyler here? T Tyler I just started his live stream. Oh, did, okay. did, did he pop? Did yeah. he hop off? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I don't have the full screen on, so it doesn't. It doesn't I got to hop off, get ready for work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Brendan. Well, yeah, last word for Javier and then last word for Colton. Right. I like. I give a little insight to why I, I, I locked out Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, my thought process was, no, I'd take that away, and then um, I wasn't going to challenge him anywhere in uh, high tech on the ballot. I was going to just give up all those states and just focus my efforts other places, so kind of try to waste that money out. Uh, in hindsight, I should have kept the swing money for Wisconsin, but <laughs> yeah. Well, and you did contest in Connecticut. I did. Yeah, I had right, a little you, lo you lost it by a pip. Happy. You lost it by a pip, but if you go two more pips there and you don't spend in, uh, where else did you spend some pure cash? Um, oh, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So if you go two more pips in Connecticut, then you win. You know. See, that's that's how close yeah. these games are. So couple pips. Yep. Awesome. Well, I'm going to shut the stream down. Um, I'll, I was going to give Tyler Demora the last word so he could plug his Twitch. But if you want to hop on over to Twitch and get some more 270 action, you can follow him at Portly Games. And um, he'll be going for at least a couple hours. So thank you so much to both Colton and Javier for this great game. Um, thank you for um, Marcus. Uh, thank you for Daniel for hopping on and Tyler. Uh, but I'll go ahead and shut the stream down. This is Brendan Borman. Until next time, we'll catch you guys in the next 270 video. Right on, deuces, juices. See you guys later. See ya, see ya. See ya.